Naftali Bennett was sworn in on June 13, 2021 and took over as Prime Minister of Israel. He is the second Prime Minister of this country, after Netanyahu, born after the creation of the Israeli state. Let's take a look at the important milestones in his career as a military and a politician. Naftali Bennett was born in Haifa, Israel, on 25 March 1972. He is the youngest of three sons born to Jim and Myrna Bennett, American Jewish immigrants who moved to Israel from San Francisco in 1967, a month after the Six-Day War. His father's Ashkenazi Jewish roots come from Poland, Germany, and the Netherlands. His maternal grandparents moved to San Francisco from Poland 20 years before the outbreak of World War II, and relocated to Israel as seniors, settling on Witkin Street in Haifa. Through his paternal grandmother, Bennett is a descendant of the Rappaport Rabbinic family and of the medieval biblical commentator Rashi. Some of his mother's other family members who remained in Poland were murdered in the Holocaust. Both of Bennett's parents observed modern Orthodox Judaism. After moving to Israel, they volunteered for a few months at Kibbutz Daphna, where they studied the Hebrew language, then settled in the Ahuza neighborhood of Haifa. Jim Bennett was a successful real estate broker turned real estate entrepreneur. Myrna Bennett was the Deputy Director General of the Association of Americans and Canadians in Israel's Northern Program. In the summer of 1973, when Bennett was one, the family returned to San Francisco at the urging of his mother. With the outbreak of the Yom Kippur War in October 1973, Jim Bennett returned to Israel to fight in the Israel Defense Forces, serving in an artillery unit on the Golan Heights front. Following the war, the rest of the family returned to Israel at his request as he was held in reserve duty for months after the war. Bennett's parents ultimately decided to stay permanently in Israel. When Bennett was four, the family moved to Montreal for two years as part of his father's job. Upon returning to Haifa, Bennett began attending Carmel Elementary School. When he was in second grade, the family moved to New Jersey for two years, again as part of his father's job. The family returned to Haifa when Bennett was 10. Bennett has two brothers. They are Asher, a businessman based in the United Kingdom, and Daniel, an accountant for Zim Integrated Shipping Services. Naftali Bennett attended Yavna Yeshiva High School in Haifa, and became a youth leader, Madrik, with the religious Zionist youth organization B'nai Akiva. Bennett was drafted into the Israel Defense Forces in 1990. He served in the Sayre Matkal and Maglin Commando units as a company commander. Bennett was discharged from active service after six years, but continued to serve in the reserves and attained the rank of major. Bennett served during the First Intifada and in the Israeli security zone in Lebanon during the 1982-2000 South Lebanon conflict. He commanded many operations. Among other missions, he served as an officer in Operation Grapes of Wrath. After his regular IDF service, Bennett received a law degree from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. During the Second Intifada, he participated in Operation Defensive Shield. He was called up as a reservist in the Maglin Special Forces Unit during the 2006 Lebanon War and participated in a search-and-destroy mission behind enemy lines, operating against Hezbollah rocket launchers. It is worth noting that Naftali Bennett did a good job of doing business. He moved to the Upper East Side of Manhattan to build a career as a software entrepreneur. In 1999 he co-founded Ciota, an anti-fraud software company, and served as its CEO. The company was sold in 2005 to RSA Security for $145 million, making Bennett a multimillionaire. A stipulation of the deal allowed the Israeli arm of Ciota to remain intact. As a result, 400 Israelis are employed at the company's Israeli offices in Beersheba and Herzliya. Bennett has also served as the CEO of Saludo, a technology company providing cloud-based service that enables remote support for personal computers and mobile devices in 2009, at a time when he and partner Lior Golan were engaged in raising funds for myriad Israeli technology startup companies. Saludo had hitherto raised $20 million from investors, including venture capital funds Giza Venture Capital, Proxima Ventures, Bessemer Venture Partners, Index Ventures, Michael Arrington's Crunch Fund, Eric Schmidt's Innovation Endeavors and Initial Capital. The sale of Saludo for a reported $100 minus $130 million to the American company Asurian was finalized in October 2013. In June 2021, Forbes Israel reported that Bennett is expected to make $5 million from his investment in the American fintech company Payoneer. Bennett invested several hundred thousand dollars in the company before entering politics. 
Payoneer is set to list on the Nasdaq Stock Exchange with a $3.3 billion valuation after reaching a Spock merger with FTAC Olympus Acquisition Corp. After moving on from software entrepreneurship, Bennett returned to Israel and embarked on a career in politics. After taking part in the 2006 Lebanon War, Bennett joined the leader of the opposition, Benjamin Netanyahu, and served as his chief of staff from 2006 to 2008. He led a team that developed Netanyahu's educational reform plan. He also ran Netanyahu's primary campaign to lead the Likud party in August 2007. On 31 January 2010 Bennett was appointed Director General of the Yesha Council and he led the struggle against the settlement freeze in 2010. He served in this position until January 2012. In April 2011, together with Ayelet Sheikh, Bennett co-founded My Israel, which claims to have 94,000 Israeli members. In April 2012 he founded a movement named, Yisraelim, i.e., Israelis. The movement's main goals include increasing Zionism among center-right supporters, increasing dialogue between the religious and secular communities, and promoting, the Israel Stability Initiative. Subsequently, Bennett resigned from the Likud and joined the Jewish home, while announcing his candidacy for the party leadership. In the internal elections on 6 November 2012, he won 67% of the vote, and was elected head of the Jewish home. Citation needed, in the 2013 legislative elections, Bennett led the party to win 12 seats in the 19th Knesset. Following his election to the Knesset, Bennett had to renounce his U.S. citizenship, which he held as the son of American parents, before he could take his seat. He was appointed Minister of the Economy and Minister of Religious Services in March 2013. In April 2013 he was also appointed Minister of Jerusalem and Diaspora Affairs. After being re-elected in the 2015 elections, Bennett was appointed Minister of Education and retained the Diaspora Affairs portfolio in the new government. As Minister of Education, Bennett issued an official order prohibiting school principals from inviting members of Breaking the Silence and other organizations that denounce Israel's military conduct in the West Bank. In October 2015, Bennett resigned from the Knesset in order to allow Shuli Mualim to take his seat. His resignation took place under the Norwegian law, which allowed ministers to resign their seats when in the cabinet but return to the Knesset if they leave the government. He returned to the Knesset on 6 December 2015 after Avi Wurtzman opted to vacate his seat, having temporarily had to resign as a minister in order to do so. Following Avigdor Lieberman's resignation as defense minister in November 2018, Bennett announced that he was seeking the position for himself. On 16 November 2018 a Likud party spokesman announced that Netanyahu had rejected Bennett's request and that Netanyahu himself would take the position instead. It was then announced that Bennett's Jewish home party would no longer be affiliated with Netanyahu's government, but on 19 November Bennett reneged on his pledge to withdraw from Netanyahu's coalition. In December 2018 Bennett was among the Jewish home MKs to leave the party and form the breakaway New Right Party. In the April 2019 Knesset elections, New Right narrowly failed to cross the electoral threshold. As a result, Bennett did not gain a seat in the 21st Knesset. In June 2019 Netanyahu dismissed Bennett from the government. After the Knesset dissolved and a second election was called for September, the New Right formed an electoral alliance with the Jewish Home and National Union Tikuma, named the United Right which was later renamed Yumina, and was led by Ayelet Sheikh. The list won seven seats in the election, and Bennett regained his Knesset seat. After briefly dissolving, the party was reunified in January 2020 ahead of the 2020 Israeli Knesset election, with Bennett as the party's new leader and won six seats in the March election. In May 2020, with negotiations to form a new government between Netanyahu and Benny Gantz, Yamina announced that it would go into the opposition. The day before, Rafi Peretz, the leader of the Jewish home, had split from the party, and would be named as the Minister of Jerusalem in the 35th Government of Israel. On 17 May 2020, Bennett met with Gantz, who also succeeded him as Defense Minister, and declared that Yamina was now a head-held high member of the opposition. Tikuma, which rebranded as the Religious Zionist Party on 7 January 2021, split from Yamina on 20 January. In spite of this, Yamina won seven seats in the 2021 election in March. On 9 May 2021, it was reported that Bennett and Yesh Atid leader Yair Lapid had made major headway in coalition talks for forming a new Israeli government. On 2 June 2021, Bennett agreed to a rotation government with Yair Lapid, 
whereby Bennett would serve as Israel's prime minister until 2023, after which Lapid would assume the role until 2025. Bennett was sworn in on 13 June 2021. He is the second prime minister of Israel, after Netanyahu, who was born after the establishment of the Israeli state. Bennett believes in less government regulation of the private sector and that private businesses are the engine of economic growth. He favors social support of vulnerable populations such as the elderly and disabled. Bennett has said Israel needs to break the monopoly of the tycoons, the major labor unions, and the Ministry of Defense, which are, in his opinion, strangling Israel's economy. He believes the key to reducing disparities is equality of opportunity and investment in education in the periphery, to give tools to populations of weaker economic backgrounds. By doing so, Bennett believes weaker populations in Israel will be given the opportunity to succeed professionally and financially. He supports the provision of land to veterans in the periphery, in the Negev, and the Galilee, to promote a national solution to the problem of affordable housing, and a more equitable distribution of the population in Israel. He has also pledged to remove heavy bureaucratic challenges to small and medium-sized Israeli businesses. Bennett's wife, Galat, is a professional pastry chef. She was secular, but now observes the Jewish Sabbath and religious Jewish kosher laws regarding food. The couple have four children, and live in Ra'anana, a city 20 kilometers, 12 miles, north of Tel Aviv. Like his brothers, Bennett adheres to modern Orthodox Judaism.